Okay, today we uh, covered just a, a couple of brief topics. Uh, one is uh, thinking about modifications to the Bernoulli equation to remind you that the Bernoulli equation in general applies along streamlines. The modification that we talked about today uh, was that if flow is irrotational, and at this stage you would be told that it's irrotational, what it actually irrotational. What it means is that the vorticity is zero. We haven't really talked about um, vorticity yet, but it's a measure of the local uh, rotation in the fluid. If the flow is irrotational, then P over gamma plus Z, our Bernoulli group, plus V squared over 2G, so let's just be V squared over 2G, is equal to a constant everywhere in the fluid. Um, the, the other modification we talked about just very briefly was um, how to think about the Bernoulli equation across streamlines. Um, that's something that we really actually talked about more in the context of the Euler equation earlier in the semester. Um, the new topic that we introduced today was the idea of a control volume and control surface. The idea of a control volume and control surface is that you define a volume, which is a virtual volume in the fluid, for the purposes of analysis where that volume is usually fixed and then fluid moves through that control volume through that control surface and we analyze this fluxes of things in and out of that control volume and control surface. So the blue volume here is the control volume and its bounding surface is the control surface. Now, in analyzing the movement of fluid through the uh, control volume and control surface, we'll find it useful to consider a, a marked volume of fluid where we track that fluid as it moves. That marked volume is known as the system. Now, as of today, we haven't really done a lot with this other than introduce the definitions. What we're going to do in the next lecture is use these constructs to establish our basic conservation law, the Reynolds Transport Theorem.